Maar hij had het echt stuk. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All stand and please be quiet. We are about to start. I bless the body of Helena with the holy water that calls heaven of wisdom for rights. All of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus, we are baptized into his death. We are baptizing into his death. We were buried together with him. So that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so we shall be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of a baptism, render put on Christ. In the day of Christ's coming, may she be clothed in glory. Circle of the sun. Oh, <laughs> 
let us pray. Merciful, almighty God and Father, it is a certain faith that a son who died on the cross was raised from the dead. The first fruits of all who are fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, the servant brainer who has gone to a rest in Christ, be shared in the glory and joy of his resurrection. We are Can the readers please come up, please sit and the two readers, can you please come up? The first reading, we now listen to the first reading taken from Isaiah chapter 25, verses 7 to 9. Let's listen attentively. So from there, just at the back there. Okay. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all people a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all people, and the shroud enwrapped all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to all. We shall all join the choir in singing the responsorial psalm, The Lord is my shepherd.
We shall now listen to our second reading taken from the Theologians, chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them. Let the other people who have, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any one of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of the God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command of the Lord himself. The Lord will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise. And then those who have, and those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts, as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Please stand as we acclaim the gospel. the resurrection and the life says the Lord whoever believes in me will not die forever hallelujah The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten maidens who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. Say the bridegroom was long delayed. They all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. That all those may
and the foolish ones who failed to take enough oil and the light lamp had gone out came back only to meet the door locked and they cried to the lord open for us lord lord open the door for us and the lord said amen i say to you i do not know you therefore be ready for you neither know the day nor the hour be ready who among us is ready everybody will die whether you like it or not it is turning at the setting but when or how or the time nobody knows certainly the question is will you be ready when the time comes will you be ready when the law comes to take those who are prepared will you be ready when the lord shall come will you be ready when the lord shall come perhaps you may say yes i'll be ready oh yes i will be ready i will be ready i will be ready when the lord shall come oh yes i will be ready i will be ready i will be ready when the lord shall come will you be ready when the day shall come will you be ready when the hour shall come oh yes i will be ready i will be ready i will be ready when the day shall come oh yes i will be ready i will be ready i will be ready when the hour shall come it is not in our brothers and sisters to say yes i will be ready our sister whether that we gather to pray for today didn't know the day if she were told five years ago or at the beginning of the year that she will pass on she will not believe nobody knows but the fact remains that one day we shall leave this world. The Bible tells us in the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 14. It says, This world is not our real home. We are all strangers here. This is not our real home. God made us to know Him, to love Him, to serve Him, and to return back to Him, to our real home. The question again is Are you ready? Are you prepared to return to your real home? Only those who are wise are prepared and ready. But those who are foolish will not make it. The question is, are you among the wise? Will you make it if the Lord comes today? this moment will you be prepared jesus said in the gospel of st matthew chapter 7 beginning from verse 24 he said everyone who listens to this word of mine and act on it will be like the wise man who built his house on the rock who is the rock? Jesus is the rock. Anyone who builds his house on the rock, who stands on the rock, that person will not be carried away by the storms of life, the hurricanes of life. For Jesus said, rain will come upon that house, flood, storm of life hurricane 
wind will come upon that house but it will not collapse why because it was built on the rock jesus is the rock i'm standing on the rock i'm standing on the rock i'm standing on the rock jesus is the rock we stand on the rock of jesus for all those who are wise all those who believe stand on the rock but for those who are foolish he said they build a house on the sand and when flood comes the rain falls on it hurricane and storms come upon that house it will collapse because it has no foundation it's on the sand the question is again is are we among the wise or among the foolish we have to make ourselves ready only the law only jesus the lord jesus can give salvation all those who are standing on jesus beating a rock of ages all those who have jesus will be welcomed into the kingdom but those who have no time for jesus all those who are not ready who are not prepared we certainly not have access into the kingdom of heaven why because jesus is the way he is the truth he is the life as we are told in john chapter 14 verse 6 no one can come to the father says jesus except through me and this is why we have to make ourselves ready how by having the oil of love love is the only oil that can sustain our lamp is the one that can keep our light burning without love your light will quench there will be darkness love not just saying i love you not not verbal love practical love now i give example our sister Vera. when he was when she was lying sick how many of you here visited her how many of you showed her love showed her care how many there was one mother who said to her children i want you to go and write your oration oration are those those things we write or we say about people when they are dead said go and write it and then come and read it to me i want to hear it now that i'm alive not when i'm dead you come and be saying or reading all kind of things do it now read it tell me how good i am tell me how kind i am say all the good things you want to say about me now so that i can hear you when she was alive how many visited her to say oh sister you, you you are good you are wonderful or to say how are you feeling today how are you getting on or to pray with her how many that is practical love that is what can keep your light burning if you don't have practical love for your brother for your sister for your mother for your father for your parents for your friends it means your light has gone out and it means you are walking in darkness we have to put on the light of love jesus said in march about 25 beginning from verse 41 see whatever you do to the least of your brother to the least of your sister you have done that to me when i was sick you visited me when i was hungry you gave me food when i was thirsty you gave me drink when i was naked you clothed me 
when I was a stranger, you welcomed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. Practical love. You are living very close to her. Did you visit her? Did you show her that love and concern? This is what it means to keep your light burning. This is what it means to be a Christian. This is what it means to be a follower of Christ. This is what it means to stand on Jesus in the second reading. We are told that for all those who are in Christ, all those who die in Christ, we live forever in Christ. To live in Christ is to live in love. Many people don't understand who Jesus is. Jesus is God. And the definition of God, as we are told in the Bible, 1 John chapter 4 verse 16 Many don't know the definition of God It's found in the Bible 1 John chapter 4 verse 16 I tell you what the Bible talks about love About God The definition, the meaning of love Of God The Bible defines God as love See God is love And everyone who lives in love Lives in God And God lives in him God is love and so if you find yourself not loving your parents or your brothers your sisters or your friends or your neighbor it means you don't have God if you have God it means you have love and if you have love then you have to show it it must be a practical law, practical Christianity. That is what we are called. That is what will make us worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. Our real home. And this is what we are called to prepare. Prepare by living in love. There are so many who are here today, they are not at talking terms. Some don't even visit their parents. Some hate their brothers, their sisters. There's no hatred in heaven. If you have no respect for your parents, you don't care for your parents, you don't care for your brothers, for your sister here on earth. Certainly, your light has gone out, no oil. When you come before Jesus on that day, he will say to you, go away for I do not know you. What a disaster. If you die today and you appear before Jesus and Jesus looks at you and says to you, go away for I do not know you. Because you have no oil of love. This is why you have to pray. Pray God to give you the grace to love. To fill you with that oil of love. Oil of compassion. So that you will shun every act of hatred. Every act of violence. Heaven is the kingdom of love. It's not the kingdom of hatred. Or malice or animosity or grudges or bitterness or rancor or violence. It is the kingdom of love. It is the kingdom of peace. Jesus said in Mark chapter 5, verse 9, He said, Happy or blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Are you a child of God? Then go and make peace with your neighbor, with your brother, with your sister, with your friends, with your parents. And that can only be achieved through love. The oil of love. That is the oil of salvation. Jesus is our salvation. To get to Jesus, you need the oil of love. To remain in Jesus, you need the oil of love. To have access to the kingdom of heaven, you need the oil of love. To have eternal life, you need the oil of love. Your money cannot buy you eternal life. 
If you die today, you leave your car behind. You leave your mansion behind. You leave your money in the bank. Somebody else will spend it and waste it. What will go with you is the oil of love. And this is what we are called to have. To make ourselves ready and be prepared. The message you are hearing today is not for our sister Verna. No, 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 no. She has finished her life on earth. She has returned to the Lord to give account of how she lived her life. The message you hear today is for you, is for me. Are we prepared? Are we ready? Do we have the oil of love? The word of God tells us in Psalm 95, if today you have listened to his word, do not harden your heart. Amen. If today you listen to his word, harden not your heart. Brothers, if today you listen to his word, harden not your heart. Sisters, if today you listen to his word, harden not your heart. Amen. Shall we rise and present our petitions before our loving God and Father? Can the family with the prayers please come up? The four families with the prayers please come up. God Almighty Father raised Jesus Christ, his son, from the dead. With confidence, please we stand. ask him to save all his people living and dead and grant our petitions pray for brother who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints we pray to the lord We pray for we pray for all who are gathered here in the worship. May our own lives bear witness to the gracious Lord of the Lord, who loved, died, and rose from the dead, so that we may have life and have it to the full. Lord, hear our prayers. God of all consolation, help us in our grief to comfort one another. May we find light in time of darkness and faith in time of doubt, Lord Jesus. God of all consolation, help us in our grief to comfort one another. May we find light in time of darkness and faith in time of doubt, Lord hear our prayer.
friends of Verna Colin Isido. In these difficult days, may the Lord be their strength and their consolations. Lord, hear our prayer. God. saddened by the loss of whom we have loved. May our hope in resurrection and the promise of eternal life bring us comfort and turn our sadness to joy. Lord, hear us. We pray for the family and friends of our sister Vrena that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. That God may grant them divine comfort and consolation and feed them with the peace of his abiding divine presence. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of us gathered here to worship in faith that we may all be prepared and be ready by filling our lungs with oil of love, practical love, practical Christianity, that we may live in love, in harmony, in peace with one another and be fully ready so that at the end of our life we may be worthy to have access into the kingdom of heaven, one for us by Jesus Christ our Lord. For this we pray to the Lord. God. Almighty God and Father, our shepherd and our strength, you live in love and you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed sister Brenner and for all our brothers and sisters who have left this world. Cleanse them of their sins, feed them with the light of your divine presence. And grant them the fullness of redemption. We make all our prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. amen. And I hear louder. Amen. 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 Please sit. During this time, we shall have our collection, and the collection is taken for the upkeep of the cemetery. During this time, we shall sing in your hands.
Amen. 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 During this time, we shall listen to a special rendition. And as this is being sung, we will call on the four witnesses to follow the priest to the table to sign. Good afternoon everyone. Condolences to the family. missing you but God knows all the things 
and he will heal us in time while we carry you like a fire in our hearts like a fire in our hearts we'll carry you like a fire in our hearts and when we realize in the lonely night we'll carry you We will now listen to a second rendition.
final commendation. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again. <coughs> when the love of Christ Jesus, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. We shall all join in singing, Do Not Be Afraid.
<coughs> saying of farewell. Our rest one shall be receive her soul and present her to God the most high. Receive, receive her, her soul, soul and present her, her to God, God the most high. high. Saying of God, call to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the most high. If Jesus Christ who called you, take you to himself. The angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the most high. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the most high. Prayer of commendation. In your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister brethren in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. That we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the mothers come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Whoever believes in me, even though that person died, shall live. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. May the soul of vain and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the Holy Family Parish, we would like to express our deepest condolences to the family. As we take Verna to her final place of rest, we shall all join in singing, Oh, when the saints. Please ensure that you take everything that you came with. Do not forget anything in the church.
Yes, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank <laughs> you. 
boom, boom.
Kasama ni Hassan Hospital. Ini kita ada mulai ada fu. Oh, wajah lapnya lah tu di kemahani lap tu mula pun tiba. Mabil lap tu baru. Bukan itu mula pun tiba yang mula tiba. Jadi senar pun mula tiba. Bukan sensor pun ada sensor pun tiba. Kalau tu mesti ada. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ah oui, là. Alright viewers, so the family would like to, to thank each and everyone who reached out in whatever way possible during the time of the movement and we greatly appreciate your support. Also we do want to apologize for the poor policy of the at the cemetery. That is because the cemetery is downhill. And as a result, it was interfering with our wireless connection. Hope you guys do understand. Once again, the family would like to thank each and everyone who reached out. Do have yourself a blessed and a wonderful weekend. So you put me the bounty in my hands.